Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my first review for the new Stephen King miniseries, television miniseries, Under the Dome, Season 1, Episode 1, which is called Pilot. Alright, so the new series started tonight, Stephen King's Under the Dome, the pilot episode, first episode of the series, and um, did a video talking about a little while ago about the uh, upcoming uh, series. I have not read the books, uh, or the book, uh, I should say, it's about a thousand pages or so. Uh, it's going to be broken up into 13 episodes for this mini-series, and uh, I believe that concludes it. I don't think there's any opportunity for a uh, second season or anything of the sort. At least I haven't heard anything of it. Uh, and because I haven't read it, I don't know if you know there's no possibility because I don't know how it ends. I don't know what happens with the characters, all that kind of stuff, all that good stuff. So in terms of the premiere and what I thought about it, I really, really enjoyed the premiere. I think it's a great miniseries, a great show. Very cool. Lots of great effects with the dome coming down. Uh, some gruesome ones, like for example, the, the cow. The, the, when the dome comes down and it cuts the cow in half and then half its body kind of trickles down. Kind of brutal, but very cool effects with regards to that and a lot of other things like the plane, the, uh, the truck that smashed it, which we have seen a good number of these in the, the trailer. But of course, you know, they have to do that because they want to get us interested in the show and get us to watch. Um, it did look very cool to actually see it in the episode, though, and everything was uh, really well done in terms of the effects, I thought. Very, very well done. Um, probably the most intriguing thing about the series is that we don't know anything about, you know, why this is happening or, or, or how this is happening or really anything about the dome. And so as you're watching it, you keep asking yourself, like, well, like, how did this, like, what is this thing? Is this, like, alien? Is this, like, government? what you know what's the case here and um, so far just opening up questions no answers yet in terms of uh, of what the dome is or how it came to be or anything of the sort um, I did enjoy the end of the episode where we see uh, the uh, main police officer there and what happens with him um, I don't want to spoil anything but I mean it's kind of hard to spoil it because the show is just getting started but uh, it seems like he uh, may have had some kind of information on uh, exactly what the dome is. He said right before what happened that he was approached by something uh, or somebody or you know something of the sort. So it kind of makes you think like is this is this government? Is it an experiment like a government experiment? Is it you know something of the sort? And he also says to Dean Norris's character who we know now is uh, is uh, Jim that um, he did what, what he had to do to keep the town from going broke. Um, so what he means by that, I guess we'll figure out as we continue to watch the show. And it also seems like Dean Norris's character, Jim, uh, has some information, knows what's happening with the dome, kind of has some, you know, stockpiling the propane, kind of leading us to believe that he kind of knew this was going to happen. He is like your, your councilman type character, your mayor type character. Uh, car salesman type guy. Uh, he doesn't seem to be a good guy in the show. Uh, I'm so used to seeing him in Breaking Bad where he's playing Hank, who's your, you don't get much better than that, like your, your atypical good guy cop. Uh, and in this, he's playing your, you know, your car salesman, uh, shady, uh, has inside information maybe, was stockpiling the propane, uh, you know, all these things that, um, you know, threatening the uh, lead a police officer there, uh, Jeff. Was it Jeff? Yep, yeah, Jeff, that was his name. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of cool to see him in that different kind of a role. So he is one of the characters that intrigues me the most about the series is uh, Dean Norris's character, Jim. Uh, we find out that his son is a uh, junior, who's the, uh, the uh, whiny emo kid whose girlfriend's a slut <laughs> and, and is considering cutting himself even before the whole dome thing happens. And... Um, and, and all of that has to fall out shelter, everything like that. And it's one of the things that's kind of funny about the series is that even before the dome, we've got a couple different characters here that are into that are up to some serious shit. Him, he was, you know, he gets in a fight with his with his slutty girlfriend. Uh, let's see, is it Angela? Angela. 
uh, considers killing himself, he's playing with his, uh, his uh, switchblade, and tries to kill the, the other guy with the muscle car. I think he said his name was Barbie, or at least that's his nickname. Uh, almost was going to, and, and he's a weird character. It's, it's also strange to see that he is um, Jim's son because he's so strange and I mean right off the bat you can't help but hate that guy because it's just like oh man he's 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 probably one of the most evil characters in the show so far uh, one of the most brutal I mean regardless of whether or not there was a dome or whatever that kid was either going to kill himself or was going to go to jail or something of the sort was going to get messed up anyway the muscle car driving uh, Barbie guy um, he's also uh, interesting because we don't know why is he burying this dead body at the beginning of the uh, of, of the series, even before the dome went down. And we find out that it's a news reporter's husband that he's doing that to. So a lot, a lot of, of little different, like, you know, neat character um, triangles. Like, for example, that one with, with the three. One's dead, of course. Her husband's dead, but the news reporter is still there. And she thinks he's cheating on him. And then this Barbie guy comes into the mix, and he's staying over. And, you know, you get these, these little uh, interesting things you've got. Uh, Jim with his son Junior who's crazy and, and lots of different uh, character groups grouping. Uh, you have the one with the girl who had the seizure with uh, uh, is it Nori and then her, her mom who looks like a tranny unfortunately <laughs> maybe she is. Nothing against trannies but just saying. Um, so you have them and it, there, there's a lot of different little groups of characters in the uh, show. Um, just getting introduced to them all right now so we're just getting to know them and uh, for sake of keeping the review time down for the most part I'm not going to go you know into every single scene we saw all I'll say is basically I enjoy all the different uh, characters and really the mystery of what happened what does Jim know what did Jeff know about this um, you know and how are all these characters going to react now that they're basically going to be living in a lawless society there's almost no cops there the main cop Jeff that was there you know he's useless now um, non spoiler so uh, and you know it's it's just it's going to be like a lawless type of, uh, of society so it'll be interesting to see what happens with all these different character groups inside how everything unfolds and uh, obviously the power's out, they can't get out. Uh, 12 people died in this episode from the town of Chester's Mill, around 2,000 people in the town, 12 people died. And um, it's just a very intriguing, interesting show. It's a very interesting s set of circumstances. It's an interesting situation, and, and obviously written by Stephen King, so you, you can't go wrong, and, and it looks great too, like the visuals are awesome. So in terms of the premiere, um, I thought it was a great premiere. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I thought it was awesome. And uh, it's very intriguing. You know, um, let's, uh, let's discuss. Please, anybody who's read the novel, please don't spoil it for anyone. Uh, if you're here, please don't write in the comments. If any of you see somebody spoiling something, please feel free to mark it as spam. Um, please don't ruin it for us because none of us, like most of us who are watching this review and talking about it, we haven't read the novel, so there's going to be a very small percentage of people that are watching the series that have read the novel. Uh, those of you who do know what happened, please don't spoil it for us. Everybody else, that, that, like me, that, that don't really know what's going on, let's do some speculation. Do you think it's government? Do you think it's uh, alien? Do you think it's, you know, I don't know, what, what's the case? Um, some kind of weird freak occurrence or something? Or... Uh, strange thing like there that one kid have got a seizure he said the the, the stars are falling in line or, or something like that you know just a lot of different little weird things so anyway very intriguing show like it very much so far so that's going to be it for this video guys i'll see you for the next one this is trev and i'm saying peace